idealize so much in childhood, sometimes it's preparing you for other things in life. Like my first job I had, I worked at a community gym behind my house in South Boston, and we'd take your kids off the street, make sure they wouldn't shoot dope or rob people. And when they're done, I'd be like, hey guys, when you finish with a wiffle ball bat, please put it back in the utility closet. They say things to me like, go fuck your mother. And, uh, <laughs> so I hit them. We hit the kids. That's what we did. I also had to hit the kids, because if I didn't, the other counselor's like, what do you think, you're better than me because you don't hit kids? <laughs> And then they'd hit me, and that was an easy decision. I was like, me and the kids, I'll oh, fuck them. No, it's cool. They needed to learn anyway, they were rude. No, but that doesn't prepare you for how a real job works. And I got a job in a labor union, working on a construction site. Right, if you had an issue with a dude, you walk off the job site, and have a fist fight, come back to work. Well, I got a job in an office, a cubicle, so I could do this at night. And I went to one of my coworkers, and I said, I have a real issue with Kenny and accounts receivable. How do I do this? <laughs> They go, what do you mean, Michael? I go, well, can I do it in the parking lot or do I get to go off site? Like, I don't know what the rules are yet. And they said, what do you mean? I go, where can I hit Kenny? <laughs> they said, you don't hit Kenny, Michael. You go to Teresa in Human Resources. And I go, oh, so is Teresa from Human Resources going to hit Kenny from accounts receivable? <laughs> they said, no, Mike, no one hits Kenny from accounts receivable. So maybe that's why Kenny is the way he is. 